welcome to another video. Today we're going to be kitting down a diamond painting. This diamond painting here should be my Treehouse by the Water diamond painting by Alita Akers from Oraloa. Um, I did just finish this, but I I kind of have plans for why. Well, well, you're going to see this video like in the future. I don't know when you're going to see this video. <laughs> but um, I kind of have... I can't, I, I'm trying not to kit down, but I have issues, and therefore I just keep having to kit. I keep having to kit up, but I kind of have plans for the storage, so I'm kitting this down. I realize I didn't take out my round overflow box. So, but yeah, so if you haven't seen one of my kitting downs before, this is me putting away my finished, the drills from finished diamond paintings, the, the leftover drills from finished diamond paintings. I have a card here that has the DMC code there, and these labels here are available in my shared templates. Um, link below so feel free to print them out and then i do have um baggies with the dmcs on them e2 and i do shade match so i don't know if you can tell this this shade is just slightly different than that shade And I have three boxes for my rounds. I have four, I have eight boxes for squares. And I, for my rounds, I also have this container here with my excess drills. These are the drills that are, I have way more drills of than others, like, like, 310 look at all my 310 if I were to just add all the 310s to these boxes I would it would take up a whole column so I do just put them in a separate one in much uglier looking bags and and then if I need to increase it I'll increase my overflow boxes but not these boxes that's that's how I go about doing it all right so I'm just going to do them in order. I like to take out all the boxes just because it's just easier for me <laughs> just to have all the boxes out instead of me taking them out one by one. So 152. Um, unfortunately, with I do shade match, so I just need some extra light to make sure they match here before I pour them in okay. have an envelope here for the label I hope the labels are removable Okay, the labels are kind of removable. I'll probably have to go through these with goo gone. Okay, 155. It does match this one. Oh. 
So you don't have to keep your leftover drills. You can just toss them. I know some folks just put all their drills in a baggie and, and then they label it by what diamond painting it is. And I'm like, and then they just keep the bags. Um, some people will just throw them into a jar like this. <laughs> this is this is my trash drills, FYI. That's all my drills that, for whatever reason, I did not put onto a diamond painting. Maybe because it was not the drills. This one doesn't seem to match. Am I in the right color? 327. Okay. It doesn't seem to match either one of them. Yeah, nope. It doesn't match. see do I still have 327 here nope I used it there or I used okay so some labels I started labeling my stuff at the top here um, because it's just a little bit easier to read. Is this removable? To see the number at the top. But yep, now I have three shades of this thing now. Okay, see, I would rather the diamond painting companies not even bother providing labels if they're not going to be removable. But the problem is I've had some labels that are just too removable, if anything. <laughs> so it's like, I feel like it's like a no-win situation. Because I've only had these stuck for like a month or something, so it's it hasn't like been on their for a long time, so it shouldn't be like caked on yet. 371. Yeah, I think that matches. But I think this is actually full enough that it should be able to go into my into my overflow box. Yeah, I'm just making sure I don't already have a 371. So. And I don't really care how nice my overflow box looks, so I'm just going to reuse some baggies here. Well, might as well just... gonna leave some in here for color matching and I'm just gonna put this little happy face sticker there to tell me that there is more in a another box that it's just to be like go look over there there's more. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, putting the stuff in the overflow box will stop me from having to expand these boxes. Hopefully. And I think now I feel like I have, I have to do some diamond paintings. I have to do some diamond paintings using my spare rounds. I've been doing some cross stitch patterns um, with my spare squares, but I think I could do some with my rounds too. Four fourteen. Okay, I have two versions. One is a little bit more gray, and this one. I think this one matches that one, and this one is actually pretty full, also. So let's go move it. But I don't know if you can tell these two look a little bit different in shade. So I'm just going to move this over here since I have a good amount already. because I seem to have two pretty um, common shades, I guess, for it. I'm going to put a happy face sticker here and then put the same color happy face sticker here so that I could match them for the future. Yeah, because this one is, this one is almost full too. It's just like one more diamond painting left before I will need another bag for that one. Yep, the labels. a little bit different. I don't know. What if I put that? No, no, no. I think they, yeah, I think they, I think they look different. <laughs> there. Five sixty one. Hope I don't have any of this one. Well, that will make color matching easy. 
So even after diamond painting for almost three years, there are still some colors I don't have. But I don't do as I don't do as many rounds as I do squares. So maybe that might be why. And I most of the rounds I do are from budget diamond painting companies that only have about like usually they only have less than 30 colors each. So That could be a reason why I don't have all, all the round colors. And plus my squares, look at how much I have left for this. My squares, oh, did I skip one? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, because these are all kind of in a, I, I changed the order for these because to put them in alphabetical order. Um. Okay, just making sure. Okay, so probably the next time I kick down into this color, it will go into an overflow bag. But yeah, I don't... I have more spares for squares. And for, for the squares, I've also gotten um, 3,000 packs of drills before, so that might also contribute to the reason I have a lot more squares. But I do think I've done more squares than I have done rounds. Yeah. Or I might have done more rounds, but more most of my rounds were smaller. I have done bigger squares. I don't tend to do small, yeah, no, I don't, yeah, no, I do some small squares. But um, a lot of my big diamond paintings do tend to be squares versus rounds. This is, this one is a round though, and it was a big diamond painting. Five sixty four. Yeah, that doesn't look the same. Man, I'm really bad at pouring from these into the baggies. I do have, I got like two sets of these. I think I actually have another set on the way to me. <laughs> um, oh, you know what? I didn't notice there's another bag of 564. Oh, but this doesn't match either of these either. So that that's... Why aren't you easy to remove? Okay. Okay, this one is a AB, so we'll do that later. 606. Okay, looks like this one. I'm just gonna pour it into the tray because apparently not good at pouring directly into the bag.
So now I know the Oraloa labels do not come off that easily. So if I remember, it's going to be one of those, did the Oraloa labels come off that easily? <laughs> And then I, I'll be like, huh, I don't remember. And then I'll just stick it onto my diamond painting. I think it does match this one. No, it, does, it, it matches this one. No, it doesn't. It matches. It matches this one. <laughs> My original plan. Maybe these two match. No, I can see why I separated them. very different greens. It does match this green though. Seventy-six. These look a little different. Yeah, it's lighter. Yeah, it's lighter. Note to self, do not use the labels from Orlo <laughs> on the containers because they are not that removable. Okay, you know what? I think in the I'll, I'll remove the labels at the end. Someone in like a previous video told me to use like a heat gun on them on on the labels and it should come off easier okay that looks different am i on the right number yep and i'll just do it at the end at the end different. And we'll see how easy it is to remove the labels with the heat gun. Oops. 704, I accidentally put it on there. So let's just put it on the other one. This is supposed to be 703. I do 
should have to get 704 though. Okay, so very different. I think I was just gonna pour it into a tray anyway. Look at how much I have of this. Yeah, it's this other one. Yeah, I think this is going to need to go into overflow in my next. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna take off the label. Three, three, two, eight. Wondering if this is, I should put some in on overflow, but I think it's it's not that full yet. Seven three eight. Okay, look at all these different shades. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna pour it anyway, so I don't need to try to match it in the baggie. Oh my gosh, I kind of feel like it doesn't match any of them. I think it matches this one the most. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. It's good enough. Yeah, I can see it's a little bit lighter, but it was the closest match of all of them. Apparently, it's these browns. These browns don't match that well. Okay, 5200. I have a lot of it, and I know I have some in my overflow container here, so I'm just going to put it in here. I'm not even going to bother the one in here because I have so much of it. different. Do I have another bag? Nope. Yeah, it looks different. two versions of it. One's a little bit more darker orange than the other and I feel like this matches neither one of them. Okay, it matches this one yeah it does I think it was the bag effect <laughs> okay 
this one is an AB. 986. I have two versions. Not sure why I even have all of these separate. These are like the same. Yeah, I'm going to mix these because like I said, I have no idea why they're even separate. Yeah. So once upon a time, the past me thought they look different and I was going to separate them out. But the current me is like, I don't know what I was thinking. They don't look different. <laughs> and yeah. Okay, this one does look different than both of these. It's lighter. Yeah, I'm on the right number. Yeah, it's lighter. Seven forty three. I kind of feel like it doesn't match, but both, I kind of feel like, I don't know why these two are separated. Yeah, I don't know why these two were separated. But then I think this one does look different. Future me might combine things, but current me is like, eh, they look, oh, see, these look really different. But this one looks like... Okay, they, there is a slight difference now that I ported it. Seven, seven, two. Okay, these do look different. And I think it matches this one. Okay, it's not a perfect match, but it's not too horrible. A three, eight. A one. I think this looks lighter.
I don't know. They look the same. <laughs> yeah. Three eight one six. Okay, this one looks different. Yeah, now they look different. Two bags, but for whatever reason, I have an empty one. I must have put it in with. Okay, I do see this is a lighter color. Yeah, it's a lighter color than that one. Three eight six two. See why they're separated. I kind of want to separate this one too. No, it's the same as this one. why these are separated. Oh, I can, maybe I could kind of see. I don't feel like they match. You know what? I think it does match this one. Seven. Oh, I see several bags in here. Like I have an empty one, so I must have put that in with my Heaven and Earth Designs one. I think it matches this one. Yeah. I think it 
matches this one. Seventy-eight. I could already see this one's a different shade. Seven eighty three. match seven ninety eight. This one, seven, seven, five. Okay, if I'm going to, if it's going to match this, it's going to go into an excess, it's a different, it's going to go into the overflow. I think I, I don't even need the sheet of paper to... Just 
leave a little bit to color match. Maybe I did need to leave the little piece of paper, but that's okay. I took take it out. I took it out already. No, seven, seven, five. My overflow box is actually get it's starting to overflow. to do stuff with my rounds. Eight twenty-seven. I do have a lot. Ooh, I have several shades of this one. I think it looks like this one. Too much in here. Use a funnel. There. Okay, so good amount of eight twenty seven. They don't match each other. <laughs> Next time I kick down into that, it will probably have to go into my overflow. 898. Okay, I have a lot of both of them. So I think whichever one this goes into will be. You know what? I think I'm just going to mix. No. I think it matches this one. I think I might just put them all together. Like, I can well, I can see why I separated this one. This one's more. This one is more a dark brown, and this one is more like a little light, lighter. This needs a sticker and I'll put it into both of them because that one's almost full <laughs> so it's only a matter of time before I might need a overflow for that one. Looks like this one. Yep. Eight. 
3855. Okay, I have two versions of it. Well, I think it looks like this one. That's an A B eight one seven. For whatever reason, it looks a little bit lighter. No, it's not. This one is actually relatively full and I do see it's in my overflow so I'm going to fill up my overflow. I'm going to take out the sheet of paper since I think I'm going to actually be able to fill this one up and I won't need the piece of paper anymore. Okay, leave some for comparison. Right. Apparently I get a lot of 817. 817 is not one of those ones you think, oh, I have a lot of that one. But apparently I do. It's, it's not one of those colors that I'm like, I know exactly what 817 is. At least for me. 809. Okay, I have two versions. This looks like this one. Okay, AB wise, let's see. Those are those colors. So orange. Let's see, 742. Do I have a 742? No, I have no. I, no, 743. Oh, no, I do have 742. They don't look the same though. I'm going to yeah they don't look the same so this one is going to be another 742 Seven six six. I do have some, and they do look similar. My bottle is full though. Nine oh seven. I do have some, and they do look similar. Let me see how much more of this bottle I could fill. That's about it. <laughs> So, so 
are these my oh no these are just my rhinestones doesn't have my ABs Here's my round ABs. Yes, I have a lot. I have a lot. So this was in a 907 here. I think I'm going to need the funnel. A lot of 907 there. And three seven six six. to go get my heat gun and see if that will help make taking the labels off. Okay, I don't think the heat gun is that loud, so... I got this during, like, Black Friday time. Um, it was relatively cheap. Let's see. I don't want to do it too long. Okay, it does come off much, much easier. Um, I don't want to do it too long, and I don't want to let it cool down. Okay, maybe. Okay. Okay, maybe I could only do two at a time before it gets too cold. I'm just using the lowest setting. Nope, I did it. I just didn't want to melt my containers. long enough. That one came off really nicely. And that one did it too. Okay, so sometimes maybe they're just harder to take off.
Now, I, and I don't recommend you go and buy a heat gun to to do this. You could probably use your hair dryer. I just have one, and um, it's much quieter than the hair dryer. So I thought I could show it on camera. Okay, these are not. I bought one in anticipation of using it for sealing, but it didn't work. Um, and at that point, I got this really cheap, and I thought I could use it for other things. So, yeah, like I said, I got it really cheap. Oops, instead of turning it off. Okay, I think I might need longer for these ones. But yeah, you could probably use a hair dryer. It, it'll just be louder. It's just cold enough that it just gets cool too quickly that you have to just do them a little bit at a time. I probably shouldn't be doing it so close to the plastic. Right, it does work there. Now, if you don't have the glue, the the glue, the if you don't have the heat gun, I would say you probably could just use a um, hair dryer. Um, and I'm gonna use some goo gone. I actually got this from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to finish taking off some of the excess sticky that was on it from the other ones that I had hadn't used the gun on, the heat gun. Now, with my nails, it's a good thing uh, my, my nails are on the last legs of this, um, what do you call that? I'm on the last legs of my, um, nail sticker, my nail wrap. So this is probably the last video I'm recording with these nail wraps. But you know, I don't post my videos in order. So 
you might still see them. But yeah, I'm on my... This, this is it for these nail wraps. One, I need to cut my nails. They're getting, they're getting a little long. So there is this one, nice and empty for the next down painting, which I have an idea what I'll do, but I'm, I'm trying not to get up, so I'm trying not to get up because <laughs> I have so many things going on. I have so many already projects going on right now, so I'm just telling myself, don't get anything up. <gasps> but I was like, I want to get something up. All right. Yes, I know. I have issues. All right, so that's all I have for today. So thank you very much for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.